Kiorana Koto Katotoa. This is wrap up of day four here at COP28. As you can see, we're short one man, but that's because she's busy over in the pavilion. Now, Suniva, tell me, how was your day two? Well, day two for me was fine. I did a story on the Pacific Climate Change Center, which was a very interesting one. And I got to attend two events today uh, at the pavilion. Uh, it was about um, the climate finance, which was a very interesting topic that everyone is actually talking about. And also the loss and damage fund that is the biggest topic that was discussed today at the pavilion. So it was very interesting to learn about what is going to be transpiring from this. From this conference. Yeah. Yes. And so have, did you manage to do a lot of walking? No. <laughs> I was fine at the pavilion. So <laughs> and how was your day? Oh, man, today has just been crazy busy. As you know, uh, we mentioned this morning that there are going to be some announcements and it was just bang, 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 interview after interview. So for us, I know we are like, the Pacific is known for being resilient, right? So we work with what we got. Exactly. Three reporters, two cameramen. So I know you weren't able to do much camera stories, but did you manage to do a lot of editorials for our website? Yes, I managed to get two editorials done for today. Oh, you're a champion. You are a champ. Anywho, this is us wrapping up day four and day two for Ceneva. Stay tuned for the stories to follow. It'll be good ones. We've got an announcement. We'll see you all same time. Apopo. Kakite.